Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush Foliage. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. So guys, today I'm going to give you some tips how to keep snails and slugs away from your pot. Now guys, both of these remedies are from the kitchen. So it's nothing that you need to spend money on. It will be already available in your kitchen and it's completely organic. There are no chemicals involved because I do not use any chemicals in my plants. Now guys, the first one that we have over here is cinnamon powder. Now guys, cinnamon powder is not only a pest repellent. In fact, it tends to help in keeping a lot of fungus and molds away as well because cinnamon powder has a lot of antifungal properties. Apart from that, if you have issues of wild mushrooms growing in your pot, use cinnamon powder and you'll be able to see how cinnamon powder starts to kill wild mushrooms as well. It also works very well, especially for snails and slugs, because as you know, snails and slugs, they tend to crawl and they do not like the smell and the taste of cinnamon powder because the smell is very pungent and the taste is spicy. So they definitely want to keep away from it. Now, guys, this option is very good for vegetarians, but the next option is is not going to be very friendly with vegetarians because it includes eggshells. Now the next remedy is also from the kitchen and these are eggshells. Now guys eggshells you need to clean them properly before using it. Ensure that you clean it completely, remove the entire film and the residues from inside the eggshells and then put it out in the sun for a day or so to dry out. Now guys, it's very important to clean the eggshells. Otherwise, if the residue is still present inside the eggshells, then it could lead to mold or fungus when you put it in the soil. So ensure that you clean it completely. Now guys, unlike what we tend to do is we tend to make powder, but here we do not want to make powder because we still want to have slightly larger pieces because that's what's going to keep the snails and the slugs away. So basically, if you notice that the slugs or the snails are bigger, according to that, you can break the pieces into. Now over here, as you can see, this is usually the size, the piece size that you can leave because what happens is that, as I said, slugs and snails, they have this uh, soft fleshy muscle that uh, which is covered with slime and with the help of that they tend to you know move around and they usually prefer smooth or soft surfaces but when we add these eggshells they have these sharp edges and that tend to uh, harm them not exactly harm them but it becomes very difficult for them to move over this and apart from that because these eggshells are of such a material what happens is that even when that slime starts to come out from their uh, fleshy muscles the eggshells tend to get attached to it so it becomes even more difficult for for them to move around so this is a very good option so don't make a complete powder try to keep as much as uh, bigger pieces uh, present in that now the best thing about eggshells is that you have two benefits one is it's going to protect your pot and the plant from slugs and snails apart from that eggshells are also very rich in calcium so it's also going to help and benefit the plant. Now eggshells take a lot of time to decompose. So this is something that is going to run in the long term. So you do not need to be worried that every now and then you have to put the eggshells. This is going to remain in the soil for a really long time. But cinnamon powder is something that you'll have to do it uh, maybe once every three weeks or maybe once a month because over the period of time the cinnamon powder will lose its fragrance and the pungent smell will go off. So you'll have to do it maybe once a month. Now guys even if you're going to use chemicals it is going to be the same way in fact chemicals are going to damage a lot of things apart from the plants it's also going to damage the snails and slugs but over the period of time if you're going to use it in a long run it's also going to be harmful for the surrounding it's also going to be harmful for the soil because i know it's slightly difficult we all want very quick results and quick results are only possible with chemicals but as i said chemicals are not very good in the long run it not only damages your garden but it's also going to pollute the surroundings so it's always better you try and and go for the organic way it takes a little bit of time it takes a lot of effort but at least you know that you're not harming the surrounding so guys i hope that this video was helpful to you if it was please hit the like button if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep planting